as studio enthusiasts, this is not from this world, and I want to welcome you to my Daz Studio tutorial series. Now, this week, I want to expand on something that I mentioned last week when I was working with Deformer, and that is Geometry Editor. And I want to give you a few points on geometry editing today. It's a really cool feature that Daz Studio has. You can uh, change, manipulate, enhance your characters, clothing, props with the geometry editor. Now, if you remember last week, I was using Deformer to create a box that had a creature crawling outside of it. And I want to show you how I made that box using this geometry editor. And we're actually going to enhance our box a little bit more uh, this week than we did last week. So again, I've got my scene set up and I've got Milika standing in her living room today and she's going to be carrying a box that's going to have the top bulging with stuff in it. And so I want to show you how I created this. A lot of it's going to be using this geometry editing, which is really pretty cool. So if you remember, uh, I needed to create a box so I could deform it. And so we're going to just do that. I'm going to go to my primitives. I'm going to select a cube. And this time I'm going to make my cube with 50 divisions. I'm going to hit accept. And then we're going to get this big cube that I'm going to turn into a cardboard box. So we're going to shrink this down because Milika is going to be carrying it. Okay, I'm just going to roughly put it in her hand. Now, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a surface. So I'm going to go select the cube, of course go down to base, just like we've done in other videos, hit the base color. And I had a cardboard box in my textures. And here it is right here, so I'm going to select that. And we've got this box. Now, one of the things that's super cool about the geometry editor is I can edit the surface. So um, the original box, if you look at it, um, this prop, it wasn't very good for deformer, so I didn't use it, but I used its texture. But the texture doesn't have the tape. You see how there's tape on the lid of the box and actually the bottom? Well, we can add that feature in the geometry editor. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into wire shaded. And so we can see all the geometry of our box. We don't really need our tab open. So I'm going to get rid of the tab and then we're going to just kind of open up the scene so we can see our box. Okay, now uh, you can see this has pretty good geometry. I mean, I made it with a division of 50, so we can see there's lots of geometry. Now, with my cube selected in the parameters tab, or my scene tab, I'm going to come over here to tools and we're going to select the geometry editor right here. Now when I do that, you're going to notice that my cursor has this little red circle. And this red circle 
is showing where on my prop I will be utilizing the geometry editor. So if I click my mouse, I'm going to start highlighting different parts of this geometry of my cube. So see, it's turning yellow. Now there's some tricks to this that are pretty handy. The, the first thing is, if I select a set of geometry, let's just select something right here in the middle, we'll just make a square. And let's say I select this, and then I want to move over here and select it. If I do this and let go of my mouse, if I start clicking over here, watch, see, it just disappears where I put it originally. So in order to make your life easier, all you have to do is hold the control key down and then you can uh, select the geometry in different areas. This is holding the control key down and holding my mouse button down. Then I click off, still holding control, and see I can select different geometry all over my prop. So that is a, a nice little trick. So just hold that control key down. Another little trick would be if you want, let's say you want to expand, you want to select the entire top of the box. I can uh, select some geometry and then I can right click and then go to um, geometry selection come over here to grow selection and if I hit it see it'll just get bigger and bigger and so I can hit um, this again we can also hit control plus plus it says so if I hit control plus see I'm expanding that geometry I just expanded it to the entire box all right and then I can also hit control minus and it shrinks it down see that okay pretty cool well what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a surface to this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, make some tape kind of coming right down the center of the box. So to do that I'm just going to select about four rows of geometry. Now this can get a little tricky. you got to just be patient. You can hit the control button, take a break, go back. With your control button selected, see I can hit those ones I missed. Let's go five across. We'll go five across. I'm just gonna select this band of geometry and I want the whole thing selected. So I've gotta make sure I select every square. That looks pretty good. And then I'm also going to just come down here on the side and we're going to select down a little ways on the side. So now I'm going to let go of control and you can see I have this area selected. Now to mess with the surface all I have to do is right click and then I'm going to go to Geometry Assignment. And I'm going to come down to where it says Create Surface from Selected. So I'm going to, I selected those um, geometry points. And now I'm going to create a surface from them. So I'm going to hit that. It's going to ask me to name it. I'm going to name it Tape. So I'm going to select that. 
hit accept. And now I have a new surface tab. So if I go to my surfaces, under my cube, I have the default, but then look, I have tape. So my default is selected as that uh, cardboard. And then I can now change the surface color of my tape. So I can make it a different color. So see now if I go back to texture shaded, then I have tape on my box out of the geometry editor. See, now I have some tape on the box. So that's one thing that geometry editor can do for you. Now, let's move on. So I told you I'm gonna have this box bulging like the one that I made last week with my deformer. So I'm gonna have to create a deformer on my cube. Okay, now, so the lid is bulged, pretty cool. And now, well, this lid is bulged, but we want it open right here. So we're gonna open this up. We're gonna have the lid being pushed open by something. So uh, to make the hole in the box, we have to go back to Geometry Editor. And so I'm going to go uh, make sure my cube is selected. I'm going to go to Tools, Geometry Editor. And uh, then we're going to go back to my lip wire shaded. Sorry. And now I can see my geometry. So what I want to do is I want to open up this bulge so you can see inside the box. All right. Now to do that, I have to select the geometry that I want open. So I'm gonna start over here and I'm just gonna select the second row. Notice how I'm leaving the top row of the side of the geometry, not selecting it and I'm gonna leave that side and I'm just going to select, hit control so I can let go. Um, I'm holding down control now. See, I'm going to select this geometry that I want to disappear. Fortunately, I think the way that I created this, the side tape is going to be gone. That's okay. I think we're going to need to come all the way down to like here to make it look good. So my tape on the side is definitely going to be gone when we when we finish this. So now I got to select all of my polygons. And then I can preview this by hitting uh, or right clicking and then going to geometry visibility and I can say hide selected polygons. When I click on that, they disappear. Now see, I can look into the box. So I actually think um, that's a little too much. So let's, um, let's hit the right uh, mouse button, go to visibility and just say show all polygons again and then boom there they are. You can play around with this visibility hide and um, show alright you can you can kinda of play with that so I think what we'll do is let's just open up this area so I'm gonna maybe select right here Now I can hit Visibility, Hide Selected Polygons. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, 
if I would have made my box with more uh, polygons, it probably would have looked better. But it's okay. Let's go back to the texture shaded. And you can see I can see inside that box now. It's, it's open. It's bulging out. If I'm happy with that, I need to go back in and instead of just hiding them, I'm going to need to delete them. So if I go down to uh, geometry editing, I, you, you can see here I can, I can select, it says delete hidden polygons or selected polygons, hidden polygons, delete unused vertices. You need to delete if you want to keep this whole. Because if you save this and then open it back up, this, um, these hidden polygons will reappear again. So if you want to get rid of them permanently, you're going to have to delete them. So I want them gone permanently. So I'm going to say uh, delete hidden polygons now that I previewed it. It's going to come up with this warning that says you're about to delete, it says 163 polygons. This cannot be undone. So just make sure that you really want those gone. Otherwise, you'll have to start over with your prop. Hit yes. And now this is an opening that is permanent. Let's put something in the box. I don't know what she's carrying. Maybe it's um, maybe it's rolled up paper. So we're going to create a cylinder or two. So what's kind of cool is I can hide those. I can hide the fact that I probably should have made my box have more polygons. <laughs> now they always say that Daz Studio is not a creating or a creator program, but I don't know. You can you can make a lot of stuff that looks pretty darn cool with it. Okay, just to kind of maybe add some detail. I'm going to select the end polygons of my cylinders because maybe this is rolled up paper. I don't know, Milika was talking about how she wanted to become an architect, so maybe these are architectural uh, design papers. So let's see what this looks like. We're going to say hide selected polygon. Then we can do the same thing for these. Okay, so playing around with it a little bit, I've got my box with some things sticking out of it. So after looking at it, I didn't really like how my box looked, so I'm going back and getting rid of some of these polygons that we already initially got rid of and then I added back in. Now when we do this, we need to be careful because if you go up, see, if I go up here, I'm selecting the other side of the box. So we don't want that. You want to be really careful as you select. This is one of the things in Daz Studio that you have to be very patient with. Okay, I think that's going to look better. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, go to edit geometry editing and then delete hidden polygons okay let's render this one okay so here's my render it's okay you know milk is cute as ever but I probably could have made the box a little bit better but you get the idea about how to create holes and how to edit geometry surfaces. I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, have a wonderful day. We'll see you later.